Hello, and welcome to our Story of Virginia exhibit. I am standing in the portion of our gallery that talks about the lives of enslaved people here in Virginia prior to the Civil War. In addition to the physical and mental abuses that took place within the institution of slavery, there was the constant threat of being treated as property and sold away from one's friends, family, and community. After an 1808 act of Congress abolished the international slave trade, the domestic slave trade flourished. Virginia was at the center of this trade, with markets in Richmond and Alexandria acting as hubs and selling hundreds of thousands of enslaved people to other slave states, particularly the Deep South, where the cotton industry provided a ready market for enslaved labor. These were the scenes that English artist Lefrev Cranstone saw when he visited Richmond prior to the Civil War, and he depicts them in this painting, Slave Auction, Virginia. Cranstone's depiction of the interior of the auction house does highlight the commercial aspect of the institution by including auctioneers and bidding crowds, but it does not convey the typical grittiness of the auction houses. In keeping with the style of the time, his painting had to be made suitable for English audiences in a museum setting, which means that the often graphic horrors of a slave auction environment must be smoothed over. The viewer can also see this in the clothes worn by the enslaved peoples in the image. Though enslaved people for sale were often dressed up in order to receive a higher sale price, the bright colors of the outfits in this painting also serve the audience visually in two ways. Again, by presenting an easier scene for the viewer to take in, but also by driving the viewer's eye to the enslaved peoples as the subject of the painting. The surrounding auctioneers and crowds are dressed in darker clothing and often stand in shadow, away from the center of the image. Cranstone also chose to focus on women and children in his painting, perhaps aware that if he could not show a physically graphic scene, he could show an emotional one, focused on the potential dissolving of families. Though Cranstone did not depict the more graphic realities of the slave trade, he was not unaware, writing about his visit to Richmond, the horrors of the system are most palpable to the eye. He was not alone. Travelers to Virginia were often appalled by the slavery they saw practiced there. In 1842, English author Charles Dickens commented on the gloom and dejection and ruin and decay that he attributed to this horrible institution.